Hello, in this lecture we will solve question in which we have to find two missing frequencies. In previous lecture I explained about one missing frequency. Here I will explain about two missing frequencies. So let us start. Let us say this is my question. So this is my question. These two columns will be given in the question paper. You have to make xi. You know how to make xi. Sum of these two divided by 2. 0 plus 4. 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Now here something interesting. You can see that this 4 is not repeated over here. Generally you will find class like this. 0 to 4, 4 to 8, it means this is repeated. Upper limit is the lower limit of next class. This is upper limit, upper limit is lower limit of next class. But here it's not like that. It means in these kind of classes, in these kind of classes, class length is class length, upper limit minus lower limit that is 0 plus 1. So here plus 1 is important and you need to do plus 1 while finding class length if upper limit is not repeated in the next class. Upper limit is not repeated. So here you can say class length is 5. So here I will keep adding 5. So this is 7, this is 12, this is 19, this is 17, this is 22, this is 27, 32, 37, 42. So here if you make mistake over here then all calculations will be wrong after this. Now I will solve this by my favorite method that is tab deviation. So this will be ui and this will be fi ui. And whenever you solve the question make sure that your upper limit repeats. If upper limit does not repeat in the next class then do not forget to add one that I just explained. While finding the class length you need to add 1, do not forget that. Here I can take anything as A that you know. But when you solve the question of two missing frequencies, you can take A either in front of missing frequency 1 or in front of missing frequency 2. Purpose of doing this is it will eliminate one of this frequency. It means it will be 0, isn't it? Exactly in front of A we will write 0. So it will eliminate one frequency. How does it eliminate that you will understand soon. But as of now you can keep it in your mind that you need to take A either in front of missing frequency 1 or missing frequency 2. So here let's say this is my A. Exactly in front of A that will be 0. If I go up keep decreasing 1. If I go down keep increasing 1. So this is like this. Keep increasing 1. Keep decreasing 1. Now fi ui. So this will be like this. So this is multiplication of these and this and here you can see f1 is eliminated. It means if you find sigma fi ui that will be 74 plus 3 f2. 3 into f2 is 3 f2. f1 is eliminated. If you add all the frequencies what you can do add all the numbers and write f1 plus f2 with that like this. Sum of these all is 87, 87 plus f1 plus f2. Now let us use the formula of step deviation because we have made the table according to the step deviation. So here this is my formula. x bar must be there in the equation. So you can see x bar is there. x bar that means mean 22.12 and sum of all the observations. It means sum of these column Frequency column is 125 that is again given in the question. So here let us substitute the value. This is 22.12. A is 17. Fi ui is 74 plus 3 F2 upon sigma Fi. This is the biggest mistake that student make in this. Here for sigma Fi never write this. Never write this. Always write what is given in the instruction. Some of all the observations will be there in the instruction if it is about two missing frequencies and that is 125. So here it is 125 and class length is 5. Now we can further simplify this. If I take this 17 over here, so 22.12 minus 17 that is 5.12 is equals to 5 times 25, 125. So this is 25. So here I have 74 plus 3F2 upon 25. Now I will take this 25 over here. 
So that will be 25 into 5.12 that is 128 is equals to 74 plus 3F2. Now I will take this 74 this side. 128 minus 74 is 54 is equals to 3F2. Now 54 divided by 3 is 18. It means 18 is equals to F2. Once you find F2, now this information will help you. How? Just write this information that is 87 plus F1 plus F2 and we know sum of these three is 125 that is given in the instruction. Now I will substitute the value of F2 so this is F1 F2 is 18 is equals to 125. If I add this to 105 these and this plus F1 is equals to 125. I will take 105 that side so F1 is equals to 20. So my missing frequencies are 20 and 18. So here this is the end of lecture. I hope you find my lectures useful. If you like my lecture, press the like button. In the next lecture, I will explain how to find mode for the grouped data. Thanks for watching.